first class maid, Phoebe Head, and I'm here at the Titanic Museum attraction. And I'd like to tell you a very special story about Robert Douglas Spedden and his little polar bear. <laughs> now, Robert was six years old on board the Titanic, and he's traveling in first class with his mommy and daddy. Now, there's only about a half dozen children in all of first class, so there's not a lot of people to play with. But he has someone very special on board with him. You see, that year for Christmas, his aunt had given him a brand new teddy bear. And not just any teddy bear, a polar bear. Do you know what he named it? Polar. <laughs> well, he travels all over the world with his family, and they're coming home to New York on board the Titanic. And of course, he has Polar right there with him. They go all over the ship together. And at lunch, he's got him up, and he's playing with him on the table. His mommy says, put that away, it's time to eat. And put it away. But he takes Polar all over the ship, and they have a wonderful time on board. The night of the sinking, he'd already gone to bed, because it was almost midnight. So he's all snoodled up in bed, sound asleep. And his nanny, Muddy Boons, comes in and wakes him up. He says, Robert, honey, you need to get dressed. He says, it's late. What? No, no, just get up and get dressed, sweetheart. So he gets out of bed and she helps him put on his, his heavy boots and his jacket and his hat. And of course he grabs his polar bear. And his family makes their way through the hallways and his daddy scoops him up and they make their way out onto the deck. And it's very cold out on deck. And the passengers are boarding lifeboats. His whole family manages to get into one of the very first lifeboats and is sitting on his nanny's lap in the lifeboat and he falls asleep. But when he wakes up in the morning, he sees the water and all the ice out in the water. And he says, Muddy Boons, that's his nanny. Muddy Boons, are we going to the North Pole? Are we going to see Santa? And she says, no, sweetheart. We're going to get on that ship. And it's the Carpathia. All the grown-ups have to climb up the wooden ladders and the wrought iron ladders. But the little children are too small like Robert. So he's put in a cargo net and they lift him all the way up onto the ship. And when he gets back up on deck, he's reunited with his mother and father. But he can't find Polar. He knows he had it in the life, but he knows he did. But now they don't know where it is. His mommy says, that's okay, sweetheart. I'll buy you another one when we get to America. Well... Robert doesn't know this, but the crew members are lifting all the lifeboats onto the Carpathia. And when they do, one of the crew members spies something very special in the bottom of a lifeboat. So he picks it up, puts it in his pocket. And a steward sees it and says, wait a minute, I know who that belongs to. Could I have that? Well, the crew members exchange this very special item. The steward tucks it in his pocket and makes his way about the Carpathia. And he goes into the dining room and he sees little Robert sitting there with his mommy and his daddy and his nanny. And he walks up to little Robert Spedden and says, Excuse me, young man, did you lose something special? And he's got Polar. And he gives it back to Robert. And Robert is so happy. Can you imagine? He thought it was lost forever. And now he's got his Polar Bear back. Now his mommy was so touched by this that she wrote a whole book about Polar just a book about a teddy bear. She wrote about their whole journey traveling the world and coming home on board the Titanic from the eyes of his little teddy bear. If you go to your local library, your school library, and you find it, it's called Polar the Titanic Bear. Can you think of a better title? Well, that's your homework. If you find that book, read it. It is a wonderful book about a very special little polar bear. I have told thousands of stories in my time here at Titanic. I'm one of the original crew members here, so I've been here for 16 years. Uh, I'm also one of the assistants in the researching process, so when we're learning about new artifacts and new families and new stories, I'm involved in that from, from the beginning, and I love it. I like finding little tiny tidbits, like a, a passport's physical description, because that, that lets you know what they looked like if we don't have a picture of them. And how many other children were in their family? Was he an only child or one of six? And it really gives you the full family structure and a much bigger picture. And I like, I like involving the bigger picture in it. It's not just about the one person, it's the entire story. One of my many jobs here is I teach the other crew members these stories so that when they go out in the ship, they can give accurate information to the other guests and such. 
And whenever we get a large project in like the Jewish tribute a couple of years ago or this year being the year of the child, we have taken so much time in investing in these stories and finding out everyone's accurate information and all of the little details so that when we tell these stories, it's not just he did this, he was from here, he went here and then this happened. It's much more of a full picture of a story.